Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the sixth episode of the Minor Magic 6 playthrough. I am your host, Huey Plays, and welcome back on this journey with me. In the last episode, we cleared out the abandoned temple over that way. We uh, cleared out um, and killed the Spider Queen. Uh, we leveled up. We're now all level 6, almost level 7. Which I reckon we might get once we clear out these mages, which is the aim for today. Uh, we got some new items, so we're looking pretty good early on. Um, I went to the fountain, got the plus 10 might bonus, so Pablo here is able to do 22 damage. Absolute beast of a man, look at him. Um, but yeah, we are making very good progress, I'm definitely happy with how we're going. Um, and yeah, we are almost done with new Sorpagal, so let's get cracking, shall we? Um, so yeah, we'll start by clearing out the mages here. Uh, obviously, they can use ranged attacks with their their staffs, um, but they are very easy to kill. So, especially the red ones, shouldn't be any dramas. Look at that. Going down like sacks of potatoes they are, which is just what we love to see around here. Uh, hello there. How you going, good sir? Goodbye, good sir. Uh, Alright, and there's a couple on the other side of the hill here. Uh, see if we can look up. Oh, wrong way. Jesus. Alright, uh, there's a green one. I think he's behind us now. Where is he? Okay, green is in the middle, so a journeyman. He's able to use um cold beam, as you saw. Um, the highest type of mages are the blue ones, I believe. Um, let's see if we can spot any. And they're just called mages. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, there we go. Um, they shoot lightning, so we'll have to watch out for them. But we should be able to spam A here, and we should be able to take most of them out. And hopefully we can get some good staffs as well for um, Steph over here, because she's just got the basic... Staff, I want to get her attack rating up, so hopefully we can find something here. Um, if they drop something, that'll be ideal. Okay, I can see a couple of mages, so we'll probably have to try and draw them out. Because um, obviously in a big group like that, they'll be able to wipe us out. Um, Oh yeah, uh, we got Steph up to expert body magic now, so we've got the two characters that can heal up pretty quick, which is what we like to see. Um, I'm thinking after, from memory, that is the blaster expert or something? Um, yeah, I'm thinking after clear out the mages, uh, clearing out the rest of New Sorpagal, minus the islands, because they're pretty intense for us at this stage. As much as you guys are going good, you're just not ready for that. Um, but yeah, um, there's goblins and other things around, so we'll get them, or oh, yeah, the mages after us. We'll get rid of the journeyman. He must be behind. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's focus on him. Alright, we're doing damage to him. So I can see. There we go. Now we can spam A. Get rid of these fellas. Come on, let's go. Good stuff. Alright. Uh, there's one more mage I can see there, so we'll inch forward and clear out him. Uh, so we'll do that. And focus on him, already halfway there. 
come on. Let's get him. Good stuff. Alright. Move forward now, I can spam. Attack them. Oh, and there's... Oh, it's green, isn't it? Yep. Uh, we'll get the bodies here. I picked up a staff there, but I bet it's the basic one. Um. It's not crucial that we get, like, good staff, but just be nice, you know? I think Steph deserves it. Being the, uh... The druid of the group. Um... So yeah, hopefully we can get a good staff while we're here. Uh, just need to take out this journeyman over here. And we will get inside attack, and I didn't notice. Um, we'll take out this fella here. Come on. There we go. But as I was saying, it's not pretty easy to get rid of these. Just gotta watch out for the mages, if anything. Greens are pretty easy too. Trace blocking us there. Good stuff. I will run out of wizard eye. From memory, some of the rocks here we can open. Um, I think I've said in another video, but uh, a thing to look out for is see how it's lowercase r. Um, pretty sure a way to tell is if it's capitalized. Um, I might be thinking of another mode of magic, or I just might be off the beaten track entirely. Um, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't in this game too that you could um, do that. We'll have a look anyway. But we're still nowhere near leveling up. Before we get more experience from these guys. Um, but fret not, we shall get there soon. Maybe by the end of this episode if we clear out the whole, uh, not the whole map, but most of the mainland. Um, come on Charlotte, do you think the crates? Uh, sell that. Cure weakness. We'll sell that then. Um, extra food's always appreciated. I will click the rocks. They're all lowercase, but you never know. Um, I haven't opened this one. Uh, I think everyone's got boots, but I'll just double check. Uh, we'll keep the potions. Sell so that. Charlotte doesn't have boots. You know what, Charlotte? It's your lucky day. Here's a basic pair of leather boots for you. Uh, what else is here? Um, basic mason stuff. So that. It's always good to get extra herbs. Aha, uh -huh, there's the island I was talking about. Um, in the last episode, um, I'll show you. We could probably kill a few just by shooting at them. Ooh, look at this here trident. It's a basic one. We'll sell that to be honest. It's not really gonna impact us too much. And our gold is getting up very nicely. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Um, again, if my memory is correct. Oh, there's something over there too. Um, if my memory is correct, this is where Falagar. The dude from the intro lives. Yes, Falagar the Gate Master. What does he have to say? Um, advice. Hello again, my pupils. There is nothing more I can teach you. Um, oh, yeah, the main quest line we have to uh, go to the Oracle in Freehaven. They'll know how to rid Enroth of the terrible devils, which I've done a few times, but we are doing it again. 
Uh, we have to get approval of the six High Council members, each of which represents one of the Lords of Enroth. You must do whatever necessary to speak to the Oracle and read Enroth of the Devils. Um, so yeah, there's where Falagar lives, which is a nice bit of... Alright, so... There's Beth the Banker, let's see what she does. Uh, she'll organise our finances, what does this mean? 20% bonus on all gold found. Beth takes 10% of all gold you find. So, maths tells me that we will get a 10% net profit of gold. Which means you are hired, Beth. Uh, well, I mean, it makes sense. Um, if we're going to find 20% more gold, she takes 10%. We, we get 10% more regardless, so... Alright, yeah, so this is the island I was talking about. It mostly consists of, like, the highest tier ones, so... You know, your goblin kings, your mages. And they're protecting, like, the fire elemental place. Um, but we will not go there yet. We shall come back at a later date to be determined. Um, and over here, I believe, is the obelisk in the volcano. Uh, there's no enemies or anything. Uh, if I had fly... If I had another scroll fly, which I've used... Or water walk, I'd suss it out, but yeah, we will not go there either. Um, we'll probably try to do the obelisk uh, quest, if you want to call it a quest. Because um, I think there's good treasure from, at the end of it from memory. What does the cartog cartographer do? Hey, you, over there. For to cast wizard eye expert. Already have that, mate. Don't need you. Who lives here? Hey, good to see you. Expert staff. Interesting. And Jasper lives in Silver Cove. Um, I think I'm level two. Yeah. Um, uh, poor goblins. Easy pickings. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we'll just clear out New Sorpical here. Uh, I like to try and clear out what I can before moving on. I don't want to be one of those type of people that just does the bare minimum. We'll take out the Shaman here. Swing and can shoot. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> we'll definitely take that though. But yeah, we are definitely ready for the next place. We are just slaughtering these people. These goblins, I should say. Um, which is very good for our confidence, I think. But we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. We don't want to get a bruised ego. Uh, we'll get some of these herbs here, which will be useful for like poison, potions and whatnot. Uh, Pedro is our resident alchemist. In my Magic 6, there's no alchemy skill. Uh, pretty sure there's not. Um, but from my Magic 7 onwards, there is. We can get to Grandmaster level, and it's a full on thing. So I'll be keen for that when we get to my Magic 7, which will probably be in 2022 sometime if I somehow keep uh, going with these videos. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, the general consensus in the community is that Modern Magic 7 is the best out of the series. Purely because of the detail. Um, which I can... To be honest, I prefer the, the animation and the visuals of 6. But love all the skills, the quests. And he can go to Grandmaster in 7. also love 8 as well, so... I'd love if there was a game that combined all of those um, elements together. I know there's a mod for Modern Magic 6. I forget what it's called. I use it myself for a bit. K 
Chaos Conspiracy, I think it's called, um, where it pretty much does that, it combines them all. Um, I haven't got through it, so maybe one day I'll play that too. Um, I reckon that'll be pretty fun. And actually complete it for the first time uh, in my life, and that'll be on YouTube, so that'll be good stuff. Um, Yes, yeah, so we've got more islands over here. Uh, I'm assuming there's like just goblins over there. Don't know if there's any buildings. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, we'll sell that. Uh, hey, you. See what uh, Colin here does. Uh, all map crossings two days past, so that doesn't worry me. The noble, hey, what do you do? You have no skills, you're useless to me. <laughs> bit savage, but... Hey, you. A bit... Oh. Big. Uh, you're useless too. Navigator. Hey, you. Oh. Uh, pretty much the same, but with boats. Um, Alright, so... I think there's still more... Goblins over here from memory, so we'll go over there. Just going across all the mainland, just seeing what we can find. Alright, I don't... Is it this rock? I have a feeling there's a rock somewhere that gives us treasure. I have a memory that there is. Um, and I feel like it is. It's on not... Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that rock is capitalized. I was right. Yes. <laughs> I feel vindicated. Um, I, I thought I was going insane if I couldn't find it. Yeah, there's goblins over there. Um, yes. I remember now. We'll save. We'll get Charlotte to do the honors. About a thousand gold. Can't go wrong. Um... So yeah, I feel vindicated now. <laughs> Alright. What's the state of play here? Alright, we'll take out the king. Easy peasy. We are just too strong for New Sorbogor, I think, at the moment. Except for the, that island. Which we could maybe take if we had, like, water war. And I kept healing up. Rehealing, coming back, but we'll leave it for another time. It's getting a bit dark, but Cars Wizard Eye here, we'll see if we can clear these guys out. They just seem to be normal goblins, so we'll just spam A, do our thing, and that 10% bonus gold would have come in handy with that rock as well, so. You know, it all makes a difference, and once I find someone who can give us, like, I think there's one that does plus 10 to Merchant or something ridiculous, um, that would be awesome as well, so, I could just stand here and I won't be able to do it. Uh, we'll go over here and we'll spam A. And let our squad do their thing. Um, still need a name for them as well, so, well, for all I know, they could, someone could have already given a name in another video, but I'm recording a few videos at once, so, if there isn't any recommendations for a name, then please let me know for the squad, um, I think it'd be cool to have a good name for them, and thought it would be good to get some interaction with you guys going on, so it's a win-win, so let's go. I will take these guys out, get the chest, the food, and I think we will head to Castle Iron Fist. And I think we'll do that this episode. And again, I forgot to check when I started the video. Um, I think it's been about 15 minutes or so, so still plenty of time. We've got 26 food, can't go wrong with that. 
they, these guys are trying to run away. Okay, that's just there. Um, yeah, look, there's... Dude, that was that island that we saw before. I mean, I probably could take it, but... Again, we'll leave that for another time. Alright, Charlotte, you do your thing with the chests. We've got a few of these here. Ooh, I think that is an upgrade for us, for good old Pedro. Yeah, it has to be. Oh yeah, look at that. 9 to 17, up from 8 to 14. It's what we love to see. Uh, we still got our might bonus as well in play, so we'll probably go back down to like, probably what it was to be honest, like 7 to 14. Uh, I think everyone's got helms or fancy hats and cloths that do some good things for us. So we'll leave those. Uh, we'll sell that. Keep those. So we'll keep that there. So that's can we rearrange? Yes we can. Got a good efficient system going on. Feels good. Um, I think we got better ones, so we'll sell that. We'll fire resistance, we'll use that. Then we'll sell that. Oh, has, okay. Uh, who's most vulnerable here? Pedro doesn't got any resistance at the moment, so we'll give him a bit of a buffer there. Uh, where was it? There we go. Uh, there we go, good stuff. Yeah, we couldn't find the upgraded stuff for Steph, but don't worry, Steph, your time will come. Uh, Alright, we'll see what these herbs are. See if we can use them. Uh, we can use that. I don't want to do this. Uh, we? And we'll see this house over here. I reckon this one's the blaster house. Um... Ah, uh, that's where... yeah, that's where it is. Oh, Arms Master, what do you do? Two point bonus to all weapon skills. If it was like five or six, I'll consider it, but not two. Was that an altar? Because there's no enemies there. I reckon it's an altar. Um, Alright, who lives here? Yeah, ancient weapon expertise. Uh, pretty much they're like sci-fi guns, pretty much. Um, Rex Alla is the master for ancient weapons. Uh, she was last living in Paradise Valley. It's probably like in the Devil's Pit, or whatever it's called. Um, for this playthrough, normally I always do the light side. But, feeling a bit mischievous, I reckon we'll do the dark side. I think I've only ever done that once, so... I'm thinking, might as well just do it again. What we've got to lose. And I reckon it'll be fun as well, so... I think we've got this chest already, didn't we? In the first episode, I believe. Aha. We'll sell those. Then we'll get a the root. I reckon that is it for new Sorbigal for now. Yeah. Alright, so we'll rest up, we'll sell some stuff, get some gold, and we'll move on to our next area, which will be a Castle Iron Fist. Uh, what's the time here? We'll support the local businesses. I mean, it's called a lonely night, so you know we'll assist them with their business. Enjoy your stay. Only cost two gold, so. Uh, but do we? Looking for a weapon. This will boost up 
Our gold a bit. Come again. Uh, no. Don't touch the Armor as well. Do they have anything? Um, I think we can move on from this type of armor. Come back soon. And I think the weapons, yeah, just daggers, pretty much. Um, yeah, right, we'll sell the other stuff we have at Wilmer's. It's closed. Who is not open? Come on, Wilmer. It's closed. Are you serious? <laughs> can I right. help you find anything? So days. Good stuff. All right, what else do you got here? Uh, da -da. I think I got the same stuff from the last time. Come yeah, again. all right. Come again. I reckon I need to learn bodybuilding and meditation. Uh, hoping Castle Iron Fist will learn that. Alrighty, let's move on to Castle Iron Fist. Ride? Perfecto. Hitch up the horses. Uh, back here. Okay. Uh, let's cast Wizard Eye. I reckon. I think this is the armor area for upgrading. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, shield. Which I can't do yet. Hey, uh, plate. Which I need to learn. Chain. Can't do yet. Leather. Can't do yet either. So, I'm sure we'll utilize those. Oh yes, the good old followers of Bar. They are probably the easiest enemy to kill, to be honest. They're pretty much like mages, but they can't shoot. Except for the Mystics of Bar, I believe they're called. Uh, oh yeah, the Dragoon's base. It's a bit challenging, especially with those oozers. Ooh, I wonder if we can learn... Alright, we're going to learn Plate for Pablo. That will be useful. But I don't have um, bodybuilding or anything. Um, so I'm keen for Pablo to get into the plate. Um, be a massive upgrade from just a basic leather. Don't touch the merchandise. What do you sell here? Ooh, enchanted leather. Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, right, um. Cold resist. Don't touch the merchandise. We'll get Steph some enchanted level. Come back. Cold resistance isn't gonna to do too much. I think it's more so fire. If anything is the most important one. So we'll swap that out. Sell that. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Good stuff. And this is the bow place. What do we have? We've got Alvin. Alvin, Alvin, and accurate crossbow. Let's see if there's anything better. We'll keep the Alvins. There are. Um, nice to see. Oh, expert bow. Yes, please. Thank you. Join the mine guild. What does expert bow give us? Uh, reduces recovery time. They'll be good when we're in, when we're in turn based oh, mode. We've got 20 food, so we don't need that. Um, what does a guard do? You over there. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. Really? Uh, what do you do? Well, I feel. What do I have a bad rep? What have I done? Is it who I hired? People don't like bankers, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know why I would have a bad rep. I mean, I've got good fame. Who knows? Um, oh, yes, the lizard people. Uh, they can pack quite a punch, deceivingly. Um, we'll probably do like this area in the next episode maybe um because i probably want to clear those out get some experience level up before going to the temple of bar um because that's my plan of attack for now uh, we'll see if we can level up anything here oh yes expert disarm trap is very good hello 
Expert Axe as well. It is all happening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Expert Axe also reduces recovery time and double that. So, yeah, looking good. I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased. We will not step on that yet because that will just chuck us right in the deep end with all those lizards. Okay, what? Oh, Jesus. That's a good sword there. Um, two handed. Not big fan of two handed weapons. Not really my cup of tea. I prefer having a shield and one hand sword. Uh, nice to see. Expert sword will do that. Thank you very much. Uh, reduces recovery time and master. We can do it in our left. That's the only time we'll have to. Um, instead of two handed. Um, a life for dual wield. I should have saved my money and got that for Steph. I forgot there was another store here. <laughs> oh well. Um, I guess we You know, we only live once. Let's do it. Oh, there's some plates. And that is an upgrade shield as well. Um, okay, here you go. Steph, have some dragon armor. And we'll sell the enchanted, which the will save my money. Uh, these all different spells. We do not have the money for that. Uh, burger. Hey, you, over there. It worked. Jesus, the sound trappings increased by eight. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, there's a temple. Uh, what else? Hey, going? Body, we need to learn that. Is a okay. FIFA mercenary guild? I, don't know. I think there's a. I forget the city, but I think it's like there somewhere. Oh, Master Spirit. Jeez, uh, be a long time before we get there though. Anything we can do with this well here? No. Good day. Thank you. Alright, so our gold is pretty low, but that's okay. Plus 10 speed, so increase armor. Got Steph just leading the way. He's o she's overtaking uh, Pedro here. And um, what's this one? Accuracy. Very good. Oh, we'll just check in back here. The print. Ugh. Bastard. Uh, I mean, there's people up here. From Is it? I think it's up there. Um. Okay, so we've got a lot of expert skills now, which I'm pleased about. That will help us for sure. Um, thinking of tackling the followers of Bar and the lizard people over here. I uh, will leave this area for next time, I reckon. Um, but we'll keep going here. Uh, and we'll hopefully level up as well by clearing out all these. These are honestly the easiest people. Watch and learn. Oh yeah, we got a... Fanatic of Bar. And I think Orange is, yet yeah, Mystic. They're doing Mind Blast. I'll just spam A and let them do their thing. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Hello, what are you up to? It's honestly so satisfying, I love it. That one can shoot. God's actually that easy. We get a fair bit of gold from their bodies, so. Okay, we've got a mystic in our midst here. I know there's some lizard people that way as well. And that's where the dra dragoons are. 
lair, whatever it's called, is there too, so that'll be for several videos down the track, I imagine. Because, as you can tell, I'm not a fan of the Uhusas, I want to avoid them for as long as I can. Or when I know I can deal with them. God, look at all the groups of enemies we've got. This will take up a fair chunk of time, so we'll sink our teeth into them. Uh, hopefully we don't get flanked from behind. Keep going here. Holy shit, okay, hello. Yeah, the lizard people here, the lizard men, can pack quite a punch, so... Um, especially in packs. I found that out the hard way in one of my last playthroughs. Um, what you don't want is those lizard warriors, is it? Their health just increase and just destroy you. And I need to cast a wizard eye. The basic ones aren't too bad. Uh, you can pick them off. The mystic is kind of annoying me, so we'll get rid of him. All right, easy stuff here. We'll heal up as well. Hello. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Um, must take him out. There is the Temple of Bar, whatever it's called. I know it's Bar related. Um, and there's a lot of undead there. Um. We'll probably take that on maybe next video or the video after. Uh, and in there will be our hardest enemy by far, the monks. Um, some of them have a lot of health. So that'll be fun. And we'll get some gongs in there. Not bongs, gongs. Uh, but yeah, the, the time will come for that. I'm just curious if it is called cool, like, Temple of Bar. Yeah, Temple of Bar, I thought so. Uh, we'll heal up a bit. A little tr trick as well for speeding up when you can like heal up and stuff is to go into turn-based mode. Um, and you can use like the one, two, three, four as well. So if I, I can go one, one, Attack, attack, heal. So it just speeds it up, which is handy. And we've got more spell points now, um, which is good. Can we live up yet? Or right. we'll definitely be able to do it in this video. I can almost guarantee you. Yeah, we will. Um, We'll go over here, take out these guys. There is a lot of enemies here, um, but they're pretty easy, so. Take out the lizard people. It's tricky when they're on the hill sometimes, because you can't shoot them. Then they run away like that, we we'll are able to snipe him. God, my magic six is just so good. <laughs> I know that's a random thought, but I just everything about this game, even though it's a bit dated, it's 25 years old, a quarter of a century. But it doesn't play that way. There's so much to do, and it's just so good. Just the music, the animations, the enemies, the leveling, the items, just everything. It's just. Chef's kiss. That's what it is. But yeah, um, I reckon I'll do the Chaos Conspiracy mod at some point. Um, to 
This will probably be like a few years down the track to be honest. Um, I'll be in like my mid 20s by that point. Feel old. Um, but yeah, um, my thinking at the moment, obviously subject to change is that I'll play through six, seven, eight, I'll attempt nine. No guarantees of passing that. Um, I'll give 10 a crack as well. Uh, I've got on Uplay um, and Steam as well. So yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then after all that, I might do six again, but with the conspiracy mod. Because it apparently just adds so much and just combines like six, seven, and eight. So that would be very exciting to do. Um, it's definitely Mystic there. Take out the lizard people here. Um, so yeah, I reckon that's the plan of attack with the Minor Magic series as a whole. I might even do like Heroes of Minor Magic um, 3. I've got the complete edition on GOG.com. Um, so let me know if you want to see that maybe as well. Uh, I'm not as into it as I am with Minor Magic, but I have played that a fair bit. And it is in the same universe, so uh, it would be interesting to do. I think they're out of range now. Uh, we'll continue forward here. Yeah, there's the Dragoon's Lair I was talking about. I'll take out the Lizard. Bloke keeps trying to run away, but he's shooting us as well. We'll see if we can. I'm gonna get some spells, actually. I think that'll be. That was an absolute fail. Um, that'll be our next goal, I reckon. Uh, where you going, mate? You know what? Steph, you can do it. There we go. Ooh, longbow. Shit one. Okay. Um, can we level up now? Yes, we can. Awesome. Alright. I reckon we'll finish off the video after leveling up. And then once we've done that, we shall do the next video on... Um, this map. Uh, where are we? Sussing out that area of the map. The Thieves Guild is there as well, where we can rescue Shari, I believe it is. And then, maybe next episode we'll tackle the Temple of Bar, because I think the Dra Dragoon's Lair is a bit too hard for now. Um, I might go in there and give you a, a look as to what's in there, but we shall get out. Um, I know there's some ruffians and all that good stuff in there. Alright, we'll save here. Yeah, the Dragoon's Caverns. Cast Torchlight here. I don't know. I don't know. She's saying Pommy there. Yeah, the fugs are easy and the ruffians, it's the red ones, I forget. I mean, I probably could take this on, to be honest. It's just the oozes I remember that give me PTSD. Yeah, the brigands. But I guess once you, like, isolate them, they're pretty easy. Um. He's definitely the hardest enemy we've had so far. I mean, look at that damage. But once you isolate them, they're not bad. And everyone else, we can kill easy as well, so... I mean, probably could. We'll probably take it on after the Temple of Bar, to be honest. 
and then the Faves Guild, and that from oh, there's the mansion as well, and the lizard. Yeah, but yeah, there's still a lot we can do here. Um, but yeah, it's just a little sneak peek at the dr dragoons' caverns. Can't get them if we jump. Can we jump over? Just for curiosity's sake. No, we can't. Yeah, no, we definitely can't. Um, God, the music just sets the atmosphere, doesn't it? I love it. Uh, right, yeah, we'll go back. We'll sell some stuff as per use. Uh, and we shall level up. Divvy up the skill points, you know, the drill. And I think we'll be level 7? Yes, level 7. Uh, is that just new sword? Oh, yeah. On Fist Castle and no other signs. Um, I'm curious what this herb might be. Sometimes there might be like items on the ground. Um, I think it's more my magic 7, there's like heaps of items and gold on the ground. So I don't think it's the same for 6, but you never know. It's always worth investigating and sussing it out. Maybe uh, when we level up, we can get some armor skills to expert. We can go there and um, level up. Maybe some chain shields. Maybe in plate. If we have enough gold for that. But we'll make our way up here. And we will level up. Hey, look at the tree. Well done. As you can tell, it costs more gold the higher up you go, and hello there. And the like, the harder areas you go to, the more expensive it becomes as well. So it's a double whammy in that regard. But that's okay. We should have plenty of gold by then. Um, all right, so we got some skill points. We'll do shield and plate, um, so we can get expert shield, but I don't think we have enough for that. Uh, shall at the archer. I think I have to be promoted to get master bow, so I'll save that for now, but at least we're expert. Same with axe and disarm trap, but we'll do chain, we'll keep the two. Uh, Pedro, mate, what about you? Um, ooh, expert is attack and damage. I kind of want to get spirit up. Because um, I want to... I think bless expert does the whole party instead of individually and it gets annoying. So we'll save for that. Uh... Steph, what about you? We'll do fire magic and oh, I forgot you could do shields. Maybe I'll do learn dagger and shield for Steph. You know, I reckon I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Give her bow though. Um Yes, oh shit, almost went on the teleport, almost got sucked into oblivion there. I'll save and show you what it does. That must be the other one. You ready? We just get sent into absolute maelstrom. But they respawn though, which, from memory. Um, and it's like a full on maze type of thing. I'm fairly sure they they spawn in more. So I remember the last one just never seemed to end. Look at them all. Um but yeah we'll load back up here. And next 
episode because I think we'll end it here. Um, we'll tackle this area. Uh, there's an archer. We'll clear out the fields and all that good stuff. Um, and then we'll start going at the Temple of Ba, which will be good. Uh, hopefully we'll get some good items, do some quests. Right now we're all level 7. We are progressing well. I'm happy with our progress. I will save here. Let me know down below what you think of the playthrough so far. We'll kill the struggler. Yeah, let me let me know down below what you think. Um, and I hope you have a great day. It has been Huey Plays. Cheers.